Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I thought I would do a Beauty and the Beast theatre review, as this year I've seen I've seen lots of theatre productions. I think I've seen about ten nearly, and I saw Beauty and the Beast literally two days ago, and it was amazing. It is definitely my second favourite one ever. My favourite was Back to the Future, and I'll do a review on that shortly. But I thought I'd do this one because it's only in the theatre for I think mid September, and it's just so so good. This is the program, I collect the programs, and this is definitely the best program I've ever bought from there, uh, from any theatre, this is the best program, and it was just so good, so I'm going to tell you about it. So they obviously do the classic songs, my favourite songs they did was the Gaston and Be My Guest, and the Be My Guest song was just incredible, they had confetti flying up, they did tap dancing where you hold your hands and you kick your legs up, hang on there's a picture in here. It was just like insane, like that is what it looked like for Be My Guest. I mean, how cool is that? And oh, literally when it ended, it's like the longest song ever, but it felt so fast. Definitely the best one, that's literally the best song that I've ever seen in a musical. And when it ended, everyone thought it was the interval, as it was such a, like a strong ending. So people were getting up ready to leave and it's like, oh, it's still going. And everyone was like, oh, because it was just so good. I literally can't describe how good it was because they had the cham fake champagne leaves coming out, blowing like really cool air out, and then they had the confetti cannons. Oh, it was just so cool. And the Gaston, the Gaston song was also really good. Just again, there was lots of things going on, and it was just amazing. My favourite character was Lumiere, the candle, as he kept going like da da, because he had like candles on each hand, and then he, every time he'd like da da, it like a flame would pop up on each one, and it was just really really cool. Basically, um, I liked how they make the beast in this a lot more, uh, more comedy like. So he was like, gotta be a gentleman, gotta be a gentleman, gotta be a gentleman, and it's like things where in the, sh the movie you're like you know what he's thinking but this in the show it was more like he was saying it out loud it was just way more comedy and it was just really good the beast was he was just so funny in the show it was really really good the special effects and lighting people were amazing as well i mean they had a screen come forward and then they had like the walls and the forest and then they had a thing that moved around so it looked like you were running it was just really cool and then they kept making lights go really like flashbang, so then you wouldn't, so then people could quickly do a transaction without you seeing, which was really cool. And the props were amazing. They had a little well in the house, which was really cute, which they were able to bring on and off. The acting was amazing. The person who played Belle, she was incredible. And oh my god, the dress! The dress was oh, there's a picture in here as well. It was magical. I mean, look, it was insane. It was just so pretty and so sparkly. Another bit I really liked was when the beast did his solo bit, when, when Belle had like gone, he was like, I'm left alone. It, looked, it was like really magical because they had like the constellations and all the stars on the floor, the ceiling, the sides, and just him there with the rose lit up. And it was just magical. It was just so good and insane. And I don't know what else to say. It was just so good. Mrs. Potts, amazing. And they had Chip, the, the, the other little boy playing Chip in a teacup. They literally had him like in a, you can see in there in the middle with a cap on. He was just in something with just a, his head show. And it was so cute and funny. The outfits were amazing, literally. What other things I'm showing this? This, oh my God, the staircase. Look at that. That was the staircase they had. It was like, the first time you see it, they bring it down really slowly and you're just like, wow. Just wow, basically. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. It was just insane. I'm just looking through to make sure there's no more pictures. I love the, uh, the guy, oh, what's his name? The clock, basically, he was really funny as well. But my favorite was Lumia. He was just hilarious in this. They made him like way more comedy as well. Him and the Beast were a lot more a comedy than in the movie and it's just so funny but Illumia he kept going da -da, with the fire it's just so good <laughs> it was just really really funny and yeah the honestly the people who did the lighting and the special effects especially for be my guest was just and it was just amazing it was like wow okay <laughs> this is happening and this is definitely my second favorite show ever that's like another one i want to show you so that's how it started 
So yeah, that was a Beauty and the Beast review. Honestly, go see it. And it's such like a ah, oh, such a nice romantic feel-good theatre show. Great for the family and kids. And oh, it was just amazing. I loved it so much. And we sat in the grand circle and we had actually really good seats, so we were lucky. And yeah, so that's my dear review of Beauty and the Beast, my second ever favourite show, and I've seen dozens of shows. So for it to be my second favourite, it's pretty good. And it was just really good and magical. So yeah, I definitely recommend you go watch it. So that's this video. And next week I will probably do a clothing haul from eBay. I actually get loads of good stuff on eBay as well as the Back to the Future haul. Might throw some more in the mix, but we shall see. Until next time, bye.